You see, people think that if you exercise, then you can eat what you like. But you know, one slice of quail of this is equivalent to walking up 40 floors. If you think that you can eat what you like and then burn it out, I don't think many people can do that. You know, diet, of course, is important, and you can exercise a lot, but if you eat badly, unhealthily, it's always going to be a challenge. Try and avoid sugar. I drink a lot of water, avoid caffeine, reduce carb. I have a lot more vegetables, and generally, I try and avoid or reduce uh, meat. I try and avoid having dinner, so I do intermittent fasting. So lunch is usually my last meal. I try not to snack. But again, if I see something that I like, I might take it. Exercise is there for you to become more flexible, for you to build some muscle tone, to get your blood circulating, get your heart pumping, get your internal organs uh, working. I mean, they overlap, but they're slightly different. Exercise has some benefit to burn off some of the food you eat, but actually the two serve, in my view, functions which overlap but not are entirely similar. You need a good diet and you need exercise. I've exercised most of my life from about five, six years old. My dad used to make me exercise. You know, push-ups, sit-ups, burpees, running on the spot. A variety of exercises, cardio and muscular exercises, but generally freehand. I want to inspire people to come forward and exercise. And I said I will challenge myself to see how much I can carry. I managed to carry 125 kilogram. I will continue training and if I can carry heavier than that, of course I will be happy to try, but it's not a goal. The weight training was picked up three years ago because when you are in your 50s, your bone mass, muscle mass, it can go down. And I was told resistance training, weight training is important for that. If I can, I try and work out about four to five times a week. The weight training is probably only twice a week. And then I try and get some high intensity training if I can. And then yoga, it helps me quite a bit, mentally and physically. My fitness goal is really to be fit, to have the good immunity, have a lean muscle mass, flexible, to be able to carry out day-to-day -day life without aches, pains, and have a certain quality of life, you're able to walk, you're able to run, or jog at least, uh, you're able to carry things that you need to, you know, have that lifestyle through your 70s, and hopefully as much through your 80s as possible, you know, to be fit and mentally alert, and to be able to not spend a significant part of your life in hospital. No point living a long life if a lot of it lacks quality.